let's do our warm-ups and a little wall work. Mostly upper back and shoulders today, I think. So speed hip width apart, toes right ahead, knees going toward your second toes. Sitting bones down, hips open, ribs towards your spine and up, shoulders back and down. And reach your crown to the ceiling. Just take a moment getting centered and grounded. And then lengthen up as you breathe. Exhale any tension. Keep that inner focus and bring your arms to shoulder level. Stretch out through your fingertips, up through the crown. Keep the shoulders going down toward your waist. Exhale, hands to your chest, elbows back, opening the heart. Stretch to the front, keep the shoulders still down. And then exhale, hands behind you. Just clasp them gently, press them toward the floor, and lift your heart. Stretch your head slightly back, but don't lift your chin too high. Spread your toes. Exhale, pivot at your hips. Come on all the way into that forward position as deeply as you'd like. Round a little bit and let that whole back of your body get a good stretch. Move your hands a little further toward your head. Feel that shoulder area work. Knees bent. Slowly work your way up. Lift your heart. Drop your shoulders and stretch your head back, not lifting your chin too much. So the whole back of your body stretches even when you're in the back bend. Inhale, upright, release your arms. Feel that energy in circulation. And again, arms reaching out. Hands to your heart. Stretch to the front, keep the shoulders down. Clasp the other way behind you. So shift the fingers in one position over. And again, lift into the back bend, stretching, pivot over as you exhale once more. Hands up, head down, move your chin around, get a little release on your neck. And again, bending your knees slightly, work your way all the way back up, lift your heart, shoulders down, toes spread. Take a moment and breathe. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment, just noticing all that energy beginning to flow. And we'll stretch our sides next. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Shoulder blades down, hands clasped above you. Bring your arms next to your ears. Stretch the spine, crown and fingers up. Lean no twist over to the side. So don't lean forward. Make sure you're pressing the foot, you're leaning away from down, reaching out through your head and hands. Get the ribs opening, the other side contracting gently. Inhale back upright and switch the hands. Bring your arms back by your ears, stretch again, keep everything facing the front and lean to the opposite side. Feel that rib area open, the spine go sideways and just stretch. And again, inhale upright, exhale to mountain pose. Feel your body sink evenly into your feet. Stretch your spine apart for our twist. Arms out, palms up, and hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows and stretch that spine apart. Twist to one side as you exhale. Take a breath, and again, exhale and come on over. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Lift the sitting bones maybe a little bit. Arms by your ears. Pull in as far towards your leg as you feel appropriate. And then slowly in the twist, weight on both feet evenly as you work your way up into the back bend. And remember, always be gentle on your low back in the twist. Stretch out through your elbows and crown. Lift your head. Shoulders down. Inhale, upright, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around, and again, lengthen that spine for the opposite twist. Take another breath, and pivot over as you exhale. Deepen as much as this side needs. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Lift the sitting bones, relax the shoulders, and slowly work your way up in the twist, into that upper body back down. Shoulders down, elbows back, and breathe. 
Again, just as deeply as you want into that back bend, but gentle on the low back. Inhale up, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips up, extended mountain. Just feel that lengthening, feel the grounding into both feet evenly. We're going to pivot forward, keeping the arms by your ears. Push those sitting bones slightly back, reach out through the fingertips and head. And drop into ragdoll. You can just hang or you can pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs. Take a moment and breathe. And then arms back to the center and roll slightly, slowly up into mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment and feel what your body is telling you. Bring your hands behind you and clasp them. Press them down toward the floor. Lift your heart. Just feel that whole upper body get a nice expansion across your chest. And then come back upright and release. Bring your hands into fingertips together and press your palms together if you can into reverse prayer position with those fingertips up by your shoulder blades. And then pull your elbows slightly in toward your sides. Feel again that chest and heart area open. Drop those shoulders down. Take a breath and just exhale any tension. And release the arms once more. And let's backstroke and swimming to release those shoulders a little bit. So just bring the arms in close to the ears as they come up and around. Feel your whole body getting a little bit of motion there. And release. Bring your arms up to T position. Bend your elbows, fingertips together. Pull your elbows back, chest opening. Keep those elbows as much at shoulder level as you can. Fingertips together. This time bring the arms out and around and toward the back as far as they want to go. They may not go very far, that's okay. And match fingertips together. And again, elbows back, just opening the heart. And together, all the way out and around to the back, really getting stretched through the shoulders as much as they want. Remember personal practice. One time more, elbows back and reaching around and to the center. And release, feel that circulation through your shoulders. Maybe a little bit more. Shoulders coming up and around. Just a little gentle circle. And back to the center. And again, in mountain pose, just take a moment feeling all that shoulder area. And let's go to the wall. So you're going to stand about a foot or two in front of the wall. Bring your hands to the wall right in front of your shoulders. And then bring them up to the length of your palms so they're a little bit above your head. Spread your fingers, press the palms just that way into the wall, and then take a good step back with your feet. And keep your head reaching up toward your hands, and then press your sitting bones, hips back until your hips are over your ankles. And drop that chest area down, ribs down toward the floor, giving a nice upper body back bend as you stretch through that whole spine. So sitting bones stretching back, crown reaching up. Breathe, drop that chest down a little deeper. And then bend your knees slightly, tuck in your chin, and take a step back toward the wall. Release your arms. Just take a moment there, feeling again a little more circulation through your spine and your shoulders. And then put your left hand right in front of your shoulder on the wall. Turn the fingertips to the left so that you've got a little bend in the wrist. And then walk your body till your forearm is on the wall. Hand and forearm are on the wall. And then we're going to rotate toward the center of the room, the whole body turning, walking around so that you feel that shoulder getting a little bit more work there. So take a moment and breathe. As it starts to relax a little bit, you may want to move a little bit further into your turn. Or not, it's always personal practice. Take a breath, just relaxing. And then turn back toward the wall, fingertips up, and release that arm. 
notice it may feel a little longer than the other one does. Yeah, so we've got to balance the body and do the other one. So hand in front of your shoulder, fingertips to the side, step in forearm on the wall, and then turn away from the arm toward the room. And again, feel the shoulder, don't go too far. If you've got shoulder issues, just be really gentle. Exhaling any tension, just allowing that to work. Take a breath. Maybe go a little deeper as you exhale, if it works for you, but remember, personal practice. And again, turning back toward the wall, fingertips up, and release, and hopefully those arms feel about the same length here. Bring your side to the wall, bring your arm up. Send it straight on toward the wall, and everything is aligned next to the wall. And then bring the hand back about 11 o'clock position, imagining the wall is the clock, and then back to the 10 o'clock position, and then maybe back toward the 9 o'clock position. I had to move to get out of that corner. And then down to 8 and 7 and to your side. Take a moment, just feeling that a little bit. And we're going to turn and do it on the other side. I'm just going to go to the other wall so I'm not totally backwards. And again, bring the arm up all along the wall, along your ear, the whole side of your body on that wall, palm toward the wall. Bring the hand back to about 11 o'clock. Take a breath, just bring it back to 10, back to 9, down to 8. And to seven, and to your side. And again, just take a moment feeling what's going on through your shoulders as we come back to our mat. Once you get there, a couple circles around with your shoulders just to let everything loosen up. Taking a breath, exhaling, shoulders forward and back, and then back in mountain pose. Just take a moment to breathe. We're going to keep the feet hip width apart. Bring one arm out in front of you. Bend the elbow, fingertips toward the ceiling. Now pull the elbow in and bring the hand right in front of your nose. And then take the other arm out at shoulder level. Swing it under and then see if you can clasp the hands together in front of you. So palms together. If you can't, just back of the hands together. And then bring your thumbs right by your nose. Pull your elbows down and in. And just relax a moment. Feet are hip width apart. Exhale, tension. And then we're going to bend the knees slightly. And the hand that you flung, bring that knee up and over and toward the back of your leg. Eagle pose. So those hips go a little bit behind you. Fingertips. Still at your nose, and then press your elbows out and bring the fingertips up. See if you can find your pose, balance. If not, just step out of it if you need to, and just work the shoulders. And then let your eagle fly away and step back into mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, just feel what's going on through your arms and shoulders. And we're going to, of course, do our eagle balance on the other side. So arm out, bend the elbow, fingertips up, other arm out of the side, pulling it under, and see if you can clasp on this side or back of the hands together. Mm -hmm. Thumbs by your nose. Again, pull those elbows down and in. Feet are hip width apart, bend your knees, sink into that other foot, and we're going to step into the balance and bring the leg down and across. Hips going slightly back. As you're there, if you're balanced, you can stay there. If you're not, bring that foot back down. Elbows out and hands slightly up, breathing into your eagle. Exhale, tension. And again, fly away back into mountain pose. As you get there, just take a moment to breathe and bring your hands to your heart. Feel your shoulders, just let them relax. 
Follow your hands up as you look at them toward the ceiling and into a little back bend, thumbs behind you. Exhale, hands to your heart. Give it on over. You're up into that. Hands up under your knees, on your shins, halfway up, stretch. Shoulders, shoulder blades toward your waist, elbows, knees, and spine straight, stretching it out. Exhale, bend down. Bring your arms to T position, right out from your shoulders. Pivot at your hips, keep your spine stretching straight, arms out at shoulder level as you come up. Palms to the ceiling, look overhead, hands together. Another little back bend. And again, exhale, hands to your heart. Release. Bring your toes slightly out. Bend your knees toward but not beyond your toes. Hands above your knees. Going to bring the shoulder across for a little twist. So remember, stretch the base of the spine, base of the skull apart. Stretching, lengthen, exhale, turn to the side. Bring the shoulder across toward your knee. Bring your whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder, not just your neck, coming into that twist. Hands are positioning, remember, not a lot of pressure into your knees. Take a breath, keep lengthening, keep relaxing. Exhale, turn back to the center. Again, stretch the spine way apart. We're going to twist the other way. Exhaling, turning your whole body toward the side, bringing that shoulder across toward the opposite knee. Stretch it out, lengthening, breathing. Exhale, stretch it maybe a little more. And again, release on an exhalation back to the center, round your spine. And bring your shoulders up, back and down as you come back into mountain pose, toes straight ahead. Hands to your heart. Exhale, tension. Follow your hands up. Another nice back bend if you love them. Swan dive, arms out to the side, pivoting at your hips, chest leading from halfway to the floor, stretch it out, and then drop in your right down. Again, halfway up, stretch, hands under your knees, on your shoes. Get everything stretched and straightened. Bend your knees, come all the way to the floor, into our child pose, transition. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead toward the knee. Just relax those shoulders down. Take a breath. Exhale again. And then inhale, sit up, and bring your legs out in front to the end of the mat. Feet hip width apart, or activated in staff position. Sitting bones slightly behind you, we're gonna roll slowly to the floor. Use that floor for support, just come onto your safe room, and then slowly onto those lower ribs, and onto your shoulder blades, and finally your shoulders and your head down. And just a little reclined integration. Take a breath, exhale, and attention. Deep breaths, just let everything relax. Feet up with the part, toes maybe slightly toward each other. We're going to work the shoulders from this position. So this is going to be a little bit different. So Press your hands and forearms into the floor slightly and raise your upper body a little bit. Bring your hand underneath your shoulder blade with the elbow bent down towards your side. And then you can put yourself back down for a moment. Feel that shoulder working a little bit. If it's too much, bring the hand lower on your back. And then we're going to do the other hand, same thing. So again, raise up slightly. Bring that hand underneath you, fingertips toward each other, toward the, toward the head, little fingers touching between your shoulder blades. If that works for you, bring your upper body back down. And just feel that heart raise a little bit as you press your palms down, elbows slightly toward your sides or a little bit out away from your body, depending on what your shoulders and upper body mean. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale any tension. Just feel that whole upper shoulder area, heart area opening a little bit more. Take a breath. 
Just exhale and relax. This is a nice little shoulder opener you can do when you're relaxing in the evening, even in bed. Take a breath. Exhale, release your arms back to your sides. And then palms up so that shoulder area keeps opening a little bit. Sitting bones slightly toward your heels, press your back down, bring those heels in near your hips, knees straight up, so we have a little roll in at the top of your hips. Toes spreading out, just bring the back of your body down gently onto the floor. And then we'll do a little back bend here in bridge position, so bring your hip bones up toward the ceiling, keep the knees hip width apart, Keep the feet hip width apart, hands palms down, move up onto your shoulders, not your neck, make sure your neck isn't on the floor. Press into your feet, lift up, and just let the shoulder support you. Take a moment and breathe. You can turn your hands, palms up or down either way right now. And we're just going to let the feet and the shoulders support you. Move your head around, make sure that neck isn't compromised. Lift your hips maybe a little higher and a little higher maybe onto the shoulders or not. And then release the shoulders, bring the shoulder blades down, the ribs down, and the spine to the floor. Take a moment there, just breathe and relax. Feel the whole back of the body reconnect and extend the legs out into step or into the corpse position. Take a moment, recline integration, and bring your arms up overhead along the floor. Take a moment there, just breathe and relax. Turn the palms toward each other, and bring the hands up above your shoulders, fingertips toward the ceiling. We're going to lead with the heart and sit up, yoga sit up. So just bring your chest up and feel those abs working as you extend those arms toward the ceiling. Press out through your feet. Reach for your toes, get a good stretch along the whole back of your body. And sit back up into tap step position. Take a moment breathing. Feel your whole body, especially that upper body, a little bit more energized from all our shoulder work. Take a moment and breathe. And oh, let's do one more for the shoulders. Step sitting bones behind you and just come into a cross-legged position. Take a moment there, breathing, relaxing. More active, supporting your spine always. Bring your arm out in front. Bring the palm toward the center and bring your arm up above your head. Bend that elbow in toward your shoulder or toward your neck, and then take your other hand and pull the elbow in toward your head. Push your head back into that arm, feel this whole area open. Take a moment and breathe. You can keep that hand on the elbow pulling in. If you want, you can bring the other hand around and clasp behind you as we do in cow's head. Take a moment, elbows in and stretching apart. If you've got them clasped or hands on your shirt, you're reaching toward each other. Keep the head pushing back, spine straight. Elbow opening. Release the arms and relax the shoulders and switch the legs the other way around just for balance. Bring your arm out onto the center, arm above your shoulder, bend the elbow, bring the hand to your neck. And pushing that elbow in, head pushing back into that forearm and elbow pointing toward the seat. Stay there with the hand pulling that in, keeping that shoulder opening, or bring the other one around and see if you can clasp on this side. Some do, some don't, it's okay. Either way, clasp your shirt if you're not anywhere near each other, that's fine. Just keep that elbow pulling in, or you can keep that hand on the elbow pulling it in as well. Take a breath. Just relax into it. And when you're ready to release again, just roll those shoulders around a little bit gently. We're going to come up just 
briefly onto our hands and knees. And bring your knees under your hips, feet straight back, lift those ribs up and support your spine. Bring your elbows down to the floor and your palms straight ahead. And we're going to slide the chest forward in puppy position. So you can bring your chest all the way down to the floor. If you want to, you might keep your puppy tail up in the air. And again, just feel what's going on through your arms and shoulders. And then tuck your chin in and round back and extend your sitting bones back toward your heels and extended child pose. You can bring the floor, forehead all the way to the floor into wisdom pose and feel those shoulders coming down toward the floor. And then inhaling again, come up onto hands and knees. We're going to do a little twist here. So threading the needle twist. You want your knees under your hips, wrist, elbows, and shoulders lined up. We're going to take one hand, palm up, and slide it out between your hand and knee. And bring your head and shoulder to the floor. Just stay there. Perfectly good twist. Bring the elbow up a little bit more toward the ceiling on that hand that's palm down. If you want to go further into the twist, you can take your foot near that hand and press out through the heel. And that's going to maximize your lower back twist a little bit more. Head and shoulder on the floor, not your neck. If you love this and you want to go even further, you can bring your hand up right above your shoulder, palm toward the ceiling, Keep it at shoulder level and drop it toward the floor behind you with the back of the hand going down. Chin tucking in, you can roll slightly further onto the back of your head if you go all the way. This gets balancing, so be careful if you are challenged. And you, of course, don't have to do the leg and arm part. You can stay in that first level balance if that's better for you. Take a breath. And then bring your hand up to the floor if it's up. Bring the knee back in if it's out. And press into your hand. <coughs> Excuse me, coming into table position. And of course, <coughs> we're going to balance and do the other side if I can talk. <coughs> so knees under your shoulder, no, knees under your hips. No, yes, knees under your hips. Wrist, elbows, and shoulders lined up. And we're taking the other hand and sliding it through. Head and shoulder down. And again, stay on your head and shoulder, never your neck. Bring the elbow up, level one, stay there, perfectly good twist. Level two, bring the foot out, a little bit more low back twist if that works for you. Stay on your shoulder and your head. Level three, hand up toward the ceiling, palm open. Keep it at shoulder level, look at it as you roll onto the back of your head and bring that hand further toward the floor behind you. And remember, don't go too far or you can unbalance and crash to the floor. Chin slightly in, shoulder and head supporting you, opening in as much into your twist as you love. Take a breath, deepen as far as you want to go. When you're releasing, if your hand is up, bring it to the floor. If your leg is out, bring it to the mat. And um, twist into table position. And again, you can bring your hips back on your heels and come into child's pose for our relaxation. Or you can bring your feet to the end of the mat, into crap staff position, and roll onto your back into corpse position. Find your position for your relaxation and just release and relax. Any tension left in your shoulders. Lots of work there today. So just kind of move them around. Let that whole upper body relax a little bit more. Hands, palms up, whatever position you're in. If you're in corpse position, toes together and then just release your legs. Let your body soften and sink if you're in child pose. I mean, those shoulders really release and stretch across the back of your body. Deep breath in and just exhale. Let your whole body get softer and heavier. 
and allow it to sink deeper into that earth support. As you let your body go, just allow your awareness to release your body. And as it does, know that other thoughts will come to you. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. This moment, just let the thoughts drift away without attention. As your body releases from your awareness and your mind just drifts in and out without paying attention to the past or the future or the content of any thought coming to you, just let them all go. Allow your awareness to release your body and your mind, focusing only on the peace within. Feel your heart, feel your body, feel your mind. Feel your being and just take a few moments to be peace. And of course, if you have time to keep relaxing today, take as much time as you have. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just draw energy and awareness with the moment, with the breath, back to the moment, to the room, to your body. As you breathe more fully and deeply, just move your body as ever you feel like gently moving, releasing all that tension in your ankles and feet and your shoulders and arms. Give yourself a good breath in and a good stretch whenever you're ready for that. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels up toward your hips, and knees up toward your foot. Wrap your arms around for that appreciative yoga hug, whatever feels good for you today. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. When you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, rolling to the side, sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.